All right, so we're going to check out how to use Tesla Waze. Uh, in this case, it'd be in a Model 3, but this also works on Model S and a Model X. The first thing you want to do is open up your web browser, which for us, it's here. Tap on web. We're already there, though. And you'll want to go up here in the top search bar and type in Tesla Waze, W-A-Z-E. Hit enter, and that does a Google search for you, so there's no reason to do a google.com and then type in Tesla Waze from there. Anyways, you plug in here, you type in, click on this guy right here, Tesla Waze. And it would like to use your locations, so that's obviously needed for the, the map. Allow that. And so here we'll check out settings. And I do these settings, I just recommend doing these when you're parked because I have noticed when I'm driving, uh, it doesn't want to pull us up. It'll open and close right away. And that's probably because the screen's constantly refreshing with your map location. So you don't really get to go into these much, just the first time setup I found. Um, so one thing you probably want to change, maybe, is weather on. Traffic jam, street traffic, that's all on. You probably want all that. Alerts. These are what your symbols are, so there's accidents, road closure, construction, hazards, police, and police hiding. And then enforcement. These are your, your red light cameras, your speed cameras. You can report new locations. And tolls and police traps, and I'll show you what those look like too. So up here it says add new URL favorites to save these. So once you've done, basically the only change that I ever make is really change and turn the weather on. You can close out of that. It'll refresh the page. See the, the link changes here a little bit with the weather on. From this point, I'd go to this heart plus, which is add it to your favorites. Add to favorites. So now in the future, if you ever change websites, you just click on that and it'll bring you right back to this page. And you'll see that one thing it added here when we turned weather on was this section. And this shows you the, the wind speeds in your area, the wind direction. This shows winds coming this way. And your elevation. You can also turn on radar. It's clear skies right now, so we shouldn't really see anything pop up. But if you were, if it's raining, you'll get that overlay. It's all stuff you can look at and factor in whether you're driving and also kind of get an idea of what you're going to get for performance. If you're heading into a bunch of headwinds, it's going to reduce your performance. And then here you can zoom in and out. And here's some of the symbols that we're talking about. Uh, so here's construction. You can click on it and give some of the details eight days ago. Some more recent would be police officer one minute ago. Police officer hiding 12 minutes ago. If, there's, if they're tight in a cluster like that, they ship like that. So that's probably a very likely officer location. 25 minutes ago he was there visible. Now he's 12 minutes ago there in hiding. You can just click anywhere on the screen to close it or click on the little X again. Additionally, it shows you superchargers. Uh, from there, I say we just go take it out for a spin and see it in action with us driving. So we're going to go hop on the highway and you'll be able to see it moving. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. So this is level one, was that four we're at, now we're in level two, which is generally where I leave it. If you really want to get in, you can go for like a level three. Let's give that a shot. You'll see how well the map refreshes. It used to be a lot slower with the slower processors, but now it's rather smooth. more so you can get a little more granularity here.
app setting that we showed earlier, the beta, is these red hash marks. These are basically areas that are reported as speed traps where it's a common place for an officer to hide and uh, get your ticket. So I found those pretty accurate. So if you see those areas, be on, be on guard that there could be someone hiding around the corner there. So I'm going to zoom out so I get a little more of a heads up what's coming up.